Hey guys, so today I just wanted to talk to you about, um, well, show you how to uh, cheaply make your own pendulum. Um, I'm going to go over the ones that I have done recently and kind of just give you a little information about them. Okay, so this one here is the first pendulum that I ever got. It was gifted to me almost 10 years ago and it's a gorgeous pendulum really pretty this is I think it's I think it's gorgeous I love it very simple elegant awesome now this one I never had any luck with um, I tried and tried and tried never had any luck with it working at all pretty much so because of this one I kind of ended up giving up for years and not even trying to use a pendulum so buying is not always the way to go but well, at least not for me. <laughs> but yes, so this is one that I have. Haven't had any luck with it, but it's still cool. Hopefully, maybe eventually I'll have some luck with it. Okay, years, years later after that, I finally decided to give the pendulum a go again. Of course, I tried this one again. Still nothing. So I decided to make my own. This is my pendulum, or one of them. This one is just a piece of quartz and dental floss. <laughs> yes, dental floss. I, I actually did that. Um, but the main reason I chose dental floss is because it's just really, um, I don't know, I feel like it swings better for it. I don't know. It, it just works for me, and it's cheap because we've got it all the time. And I had some pretty good luck with this. The first time I used it, didn't really have too much luck, but the second time... I had awesome luck with this one and it's so simple I mean the stone I already had dental flaws I already had didn't cost anything and I had awesome luck with this one and I was fine with that one but then a few months ago my husband went out and bought me this one it's lapis lazuli and it's gorgeous and it's got the chakras on there and those are all stones except for this one and this one. Those, they for some reason they're beads, but the rest of them are stones, which kind of uh, sucks. But so yes, I love, love, love this one. And this one I have had so much luck with. I mean, it works amazingly. So and this one was of course bought. But yes, so this one, awesome. Um, now I'm gonna show you another. Well, I'll show you an idea of ways to actually make your own. Um, what I did was I went to the dollar store and I got a cheap necklace. Really long, <laughs> but it was like a dollar. So this is what I do. I've got my necklace, it's got the little hook on there, and then eh, you can just take different pieces of jewelry. Like this is a piece, this is a Moldavite that my mom and stepdad had um, made and wrapped for me and you can just hook it on there and then one thing that I like to do and I actually like the long string because I can do this you can take it and wrap it around your hand well a little too long there or short but and then you can use it that way and I actually feel like there's more support that way for some reason. I just, I like holding it with it wrapped. And then you can just do, you know, your business. And the cool thing about using a necklace piece is the fact that you can interchange it. You know, I can go from that to this one. Kind of depends. I mean, these were all things that I was gifted. Um, they all didn't cost me a penny so you can just use what you've got got that one piece of turquoise um, and then also if you don't have any that already have the little hook thing you can go to the dollar store and get um, some wire wrap and you can wrap up your own crystals eh. and then hook them on there and voila, you've got a wrapped crystal pendulum. So yeah, I just, 
I like the idea of doing this because you can interchange it if you want to do different stones. And it works great. Um, I've also got, you know, another one that was gifted to me. And this one's cool because it's my totem animal, a little turtle. It's opal as well, really pretty. And then that's just one of the cheapest ways to have a pendulum. Besides, and of course you can go out into nature and make your own as well. Um, I think it was, who was it? I think it was Lady, Lady Grave Dancer that did um, the Star and Nice pendulum. I think, I think that's what it was. She um, took a Star and Nice and just some string that came, I think came off of her shirt or something like that, and just tied it and made a pendulum out of a, a oh no, it was an acorn and a Star and Nice, I think. An acorn. She tied a string to an acorn and had a pendulum out of that. Or you can do star knees. They both work great. Um, what, is, what have I done? I've done... Um, I think I've done a piece of bark from my hickory tree. And I think I've done a hickory nut. <laughs> but that was, a long time, that was a long time ago. But those are other things that I've done. And you can make them out of just about anything. I mean, seriously, anything you want to make it out of. You could even use... Like my necklace here if you really wanted to you could just take my necklace and have a pendulum that's a little it's a little big and a little flashy but <laughs> for a pendulum but you could still use it if you wanted to but yeah so I just thought I would give you some ideas oh, I'm getting my hair caught on ways you can make your own pendulum um, without spending a fortune so yeah um, I guess that's it, guys. I'll see you next time. Blessed be.